In this video, I will show you how to align two Word documents on a Mac using LF Aligner. The homepage of LF Aligner is sourceforge.net and I've downloaded the latest version for Mac, which is 3.12. It's here. I'll unzip it and I'll rename the resulting folder Aligner to Aligner Mac. Now, I've also downloaded the latest version of LF Aligner for Windows 4.05 and uh, I will explain why in just a moment. So I'll also uncompress this zip file. I'll rename the resulting file to Aligner Win. So I now know which is which. And in the Windows distribution, if I go to the script folder, I can find a file called mergecells.xla, which is an Excel macro. And this file is missing from the Mac distribution for some reason. So what I will do, I will copy or I will move this file to the script folder. Now I no longer need the Windows distribution, so I can trash it. And uh, now I will move to Excel and in Excel I will go to Tools, Add-ins and here I'll select the file from the Mac folder in Scripts. So that's this one, Open. So now this macro file is active and we will be using it later on when reviewing the alignment performed by LF Aligner. So now I can open the Aligner for Mac folder and I will start LF Aligner, which is this program here. And if you get the same uh, error message as uh, me, because you have the latest uh, version of uh, OS X, Yosemite, you need to go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and here you need to specifically allow LF Aligner to be open and open. So now we are being asked what type of file we want to align. So this is uh, the first type, text or word. I'll enter T. Number of languages, two languages. My source language will be Finnish, F-I. And my second language will be Swedish, S-V. And now I can drag and drop the files I want to align. So my files are here. And one thing you should note is that uh, your file names and folders cannot contain special characters or spaces. So my first file is this one. I'll drag and drop it. Press Enter. And now I'll do the same with the second one, which is the one in Swedish. Okay, and enter. Now it seems the segmentation went well. I have about the same numbers for both files, so I'll accept the default. And now I'm asked if I want to review the alignment, and for that I'm offered two possibilities. One is to use plus tools. Actually, it's a bad idea because Plus Tools is a macro that no longer works with uh, Office uh, 2011. And the second possibility is to use Excel, and this is the one I will choose. So this is what my alignment looks like in uh, Excel. So in the left-hand side column, I have my Finnish text, and in the right-hand side, Swedish text. On the second sheet, I have some instructions about using the Excel macro. Uh, this is the file mergecells.xla that we installed previously. And the way we use it is by pressing Ctrl J to join uh, two cells together. So let's go back to our alignment. The beginning looks okay. So here I have the same numbers on both sides. And if I go towards the end, I can see that uh, line 31, I have a link in the Finnish text, which is not present on the Swedish text. So I need to delete that link. And I can see that these two cells belong together. So I'll press Ctrl J 
and I will join them and I will do the same with the, on the finish size, Control J. Now I can save my alignment and I can close the file. Now this is the last step of using LF Aligner to create the TMX. Unfortunately, there is a bug in the current version and if I choose yes, an um, a TMX will be created, but it will not include the changes that I, I have made in Excel. So instead, I'll select no. And I'll go back to my aligner folder. And there, under other tools, there's a utility called uh, TMX Maker that I will start. And here I need to drag and drop the Excel file that I had uh, obtained previously. So it's located in my alignment folder under align here. And it's this one here. Drag and drop and press enter. Now I'm asked about the number of languages. I have two. My first language finish will be fi.fi. So now I'm, I'm in, uh, using the full length language codes. The second language will be Swedish, SVSE. And I will accept the default. And now my TMX has been created. It's located here in the same folder. And I will be using the Hardsome TMX editor to check the content of the TMX I just created. So in Hardsome, I will open my TMX. It's located here. Open. And I can see the content of my TMX, which looks just fine. So there you have it, how to align two Word documents on a Mac using LF Aligner and obtaining a TMX translation memory that you can use in any CAD tool. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more similar content and see you in the next video.